Ready for an update video? Right. Now, those of you who have seen my videos, and I say that a lot, uh, know that the last video that I made for the rear brakes didn't turn out quite the way I wanted it. Um, basically, I wasn't able to get the rear caliper bolts off because if you look at this picture, once again, Exactly. That's the problem I was dealing with. But uh, I went online, found the right tools for it uh, at Amazon. Real great website. Um, so I bought those tools, and here is the tool for that. I already did the driver's side, and if you're going to remove those bolts, use some WD-40 spray them soak them with some WD-40 first uh, wait about 10 15 20 minutes whatever you want to wait even an hour usually some people actually I've, I've read this up that some people have actually sprayed some WD-40 like a day or two before they did the job so you know spray it soak it whatever you need this tool no matter what you do. Torx bits won't work. You'll just strip the bolt and you're gonna have to take it to the machine shop to get it out or to a mechanic or whatever. If you wanna do it yourself, you need this bolt uh, bit. This bit is, uh, on the bit it says CR-V16. So, uh, if you're ordering it online, it is a uh, 12 point triple square bit set and uh, in the case it says M16 that's the size so uh, I got that right over here if you want to see it and uh, this is where it was now if you see M16 now this one M10 is the one you use to uh, remove the bolts when you're changing your battery. Uh, you need to uh, remove the bolts on the seat to remove the seat in order to get to your battery. That is in another video and I'll post the link in the description. So enough talking, let's do this. All right, now first thing you wanna do is before you take the, the pads out, you want to make sure you can get those bolts out. So uh, what I did was beforehand, I actually asked a friend, I soaked them in WD-40, and I asked a friend, we both used my handy dandy breaker bar, and while I was pulling, he was pushing up. So, you know, we got them broken loose. So now, next thing you do, Locate them. Make sure that would help. <laughs> Locate the bolts. Simple. I mean, I already broke them loose. So, you know, this is just for uh, video purposes, but. You get the idea. Now you don't want to take it out all the way. You want to get them both out first. Okay, now if you look in here, this is the uh, top caliper bolt right here. This brake line is actually in your way. So what you're going to need to do is basically push it out just like that out of your way now you can see the bolt right here then 
take your ratchet There you go. Now, before you take the bottom caliper bolt out, I'm our friend the cotter pin. Take him out. Don't lose him. He's very valuable. I'm keeping this pin in. Then, with your punch, and of course, as usual, your trusty hammer. Take the uh, brake sensor wire out. And then pull brake pads back if you can. That way they compress the pistons. And then you can take them out. Set them to the side if you don't want to take the brake sensors off. And then continue taking your rear caliper bolt off. Uh, the bottom one. Go. Now carefully take the caliper off and just lay it down to the side. Just like that. Now all you gotta do is take the rotor off. If you can't pull it off with your hand, which you most likely won't be able to, take your hammer again. This rotor is garbage anyway, you're replacing it. So, hit it in a few places, even get behind it. Keep whacking it till it comes out. While you're hitting it, it also helps to pull. 
This one is really in there. You got a better angle. Wiggle it. Be careful when that happens. Now, as you can see, there were shoes. Now, I want to pause here for a minute to mention one thing. Normally, when there's a rotor drum combination like these are, if you have any hard time removing them like I did, you would normally suspect the parking brake was engaged. However, I knew the parking brake wasn't engaged. That's why I continued to hit the rotor until it came out. Another thing try to hit the rotor out straight that way you avoid displacing the shoes now all you need to do is get some brake cleaner and clean up all this uh, regular water and soap will do as well but this actually works much better so just clean it Get all that grease and grime and brake dust and all that out. Everywhere. You can even go in the hole. Clean it up real nice. Now take your new rotor and clean that too. Turn it around. And then put it on. Now put your rotor, your new rotor on. like that and uh, if it gets dirty again from your hands spray a little more brake clean on now that's how you do it now Get your caliper. And get that over your new rotor. Take your bolt, make sure it's clean. and put it back in 
You want to do the top one first. Seems easier for me. Just to get it started. And then you could work on the other one on the bottom. Once you have the two bolts back on, caliper, put the uh, pads in and your brake sensors. Alright, now that you have your sensors in, take your pin and again right here. See the hole right there. Make sure it's facing up. Put it in this way. And what I like to do, hit it in first. A little bit just like that. And then get your retaining plate in. in just like that and then what you need to do is push it I need to push it down a little bit just like that then Hit the pin. Make sure that pin goes in. If it, if it springs up, just hold it down while you hit it in, just like that. And then, there you go, take your cotter pin, get that in, and you can, there you go. Hit it down with your screwdriver. There we go. Take the uh, brake center wire and don't forget the brake line that you moved out the way so you could get the caliper bolt. Just clamp that right back in and. Uh, Next thing you gotta do is compress the brake pedal. Go halfway, back, halfway, back, and press it until right there you can't press anymore. That's it, that's as far as I go. Okay. Uh, I hope this helped you out. I know there are a lot of people out there who feel like they have no choice but to bring their truck into the dealer or local mechanic. But now that you have the proper tool, which by the way only cost me $25 for the set, um, you can easily com complete the rear brake job. So uh, once again, thanks for watching.